Hi guys, welcome back to my video. I got Winnie in the corner with me. She's mad because she's stuck in this room. I just don't want her like roaming everywhere with me in here. But today I'm going to film a makeup tutorial for you guys on this look. So stay tuned if you want to see the finished product. I'm super excited. I have not done a tutorial since I think the first video I filmed for you guys. So today, even though it is hot outside, I still want to be in my fall vibes. So we are going to be using the Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Whoa, almost dropped it. Going into like these three and that one right there. I really want to put this one called sponsored on the lid. It's a green. I have green eyes. You probably can't tell, but when I wear that shade, it really makes them pop. Don't mind my eyebrows and my skin. I just exfoliated my skin for my makeup and then I plucked my eyebrows. I swear every time I come to you guys, I'm like a hot mess and I have to explain myself. So today I'm just priming my skin with a little fix plus, nothing special. I just like redid my skincare routine from I, what I did this morning. We're gonna go straight in with the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Just cover up um, some of my breakouts from my skin purging, which I mentioned in my last video, I'll link. I said last time, I was like, oh, I'll link it right here. But then when I went to edit, I realized it flip-flops, so I'll link it right here. Okay, we'll see if that works. Just putting it on any redness I would like to cover up. I put my hair up in a little scrunchie to do my makeup. This isn't how it's gonna stay for dinner. My sister knits these super cute little scrunchies and she made me this super neutral one, which I really like. Going in with a little of my favorite Dior foundation. I just ordered lighter shades of foundation and a new one to try, the Giorgio Armani Silk Foundation. So I'm super excited for those to come in. And then next week I'll film with those products. Next week's video is going to be like transforming my makeup from summer to fall. So it's gonna be all about complexion products, uh, trying out new ones and whatnot since I'll, I'm already too light for this foundation. This is in um, oh, N1. So I ordered the next one down, which is the lightest shade that they offer. So I'll be testing all those out as well as some new bronzers. I have been looking a bit bronze in my latest makeup. Um, so I just, I actually have them already here. Oh no, we're lifting, we're lifting. Gonna go in with a little more foundation where it lifted. Um, so if you do want to get around that whole lifting issue that I just experienced, one thing I've learned, and obviously I didn't just do it, it's when your beauty blender is so damp, it just sucks the makeup right off your face. So what I found is pat it a couple times on your neck first so it gets a little layer of foundation on the beauty blender so then the foundation on the beauty blender and the foundation on your skin can just bounce off one another. Also today we will be trying out the telescopic carbon black mascara. I've heard some really good things about this so I'm excited to try it out. Gonna go in with my forever holy grail shirt shirt <laughs> tart shape tape. Uh, I just I can't you guys. I cannot get enough of it under my eyes specifically under my eyes. You guys know I go in with a different concealer in my T-zone. I just let the concealer sit on my skin, on my under eyes for a sec. I'm gonna blend it a little bit out quick. Next, you guys know the drill, the Naked Urban Decay Concealer on the T-zone. 
And this is not as light as the one under my eyes either. So I have so many new things to try out and I just like keep seeing them. The thing I have to try out today is the Shiseido eyelash curler. I never curled my eyelashes before. It just wasn't ever anything that I really did. Blending out the sides, letting the center of it like kind of sit and on the skin for a bit. Next, my holy grail powder. We're going in, just stamping in the little container, not baking or anything yet, pressing that in to the under eye. Do the other side. I just like putting down this first little layer first. I think it makes all the difference in creasing of your makeup. Next, taking a little um, small domed brush, setting the eyelids and just smoothing out that powder on the under eye. Our birthday dinner is actually in Davenport tonight. So we're gonna go to dinner and everything and I'm gonna have a mask on the whole time. So I'm definitely not doing dewy makeup today. Like I'm gonna set my whole face with masks. I you just can't do the whole, I'm just cleaning off a brush here. The whole dewy look, it just doesn't work whatsoever. So I'm gonna go into my Jouer powder in Fair Pale. It's just a perfect way to describe my skin. I'm taking this old brush, which I've talked to you guys before. You literally, I bet, cannot even find it anymore. But if you can, it is a Sonia Kashuk brush. Because I do have a few zits, I'm going to go in with the Hello Flawless Benefit Foundation Powder. Now, this is the ultimate way to cover up your zits. You first, you put the concealer down before your foundation. You do your foundation over your concealer, not blending it out. Then you put on powder and then you're gonna go in with foundation powder, just over those spots. Blend it out a little bit. And go in around the perimeters of the face. Ooh, I already really like this color, especially with how pale I am. It looks super nice. And let's do a little nose contour. So loose powder in the top. Let's get a little more. So down the bridge of the nose, straight line. And now down the sides. And then gotta bake a little bit. I haven't baked yet. Put a little on the chin, a little up there. When I use a lot of powder, I just find myself going in with powder. Like, there's no in between. It's usually all the way, the most powder possible or like hardly any powder at all. It's funny to me. I'm gonna go in with my Z palette again, this color from Kathleen Light's collection, Lunar has it, just adds nice color to the face. Clean off my little brush brush and go in with that. blush just a little bit with powder and then literally just brushing it away super quick 
Okay, so we have our blush, bronzer, all that good stuff on. Ooh, what do we want to do for highlighter? I'm thinking like a gold. So for highlighter, I'm going to lightly go in with the Maybelline Master Chrome Face Studio Molten Gold Highlighter um, in 100 on a beauty blender. So it sinks into the skin better. And I'm doing these little tapping, like sliding motions to get that color. This is a loved highlight if I've ever seen one. It looks so gross, but it's because it's loved. Just putting that on the highest point of my cheekbone, gonna blend out the sides of it so it doesn't look like a harsh line. And then just a really beautiful glow you're left with. I think it's time to do brows. Just going to go through them with a little spoolie quick. We'll go in with my trusty Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen. This is the cool shade and I've been doing this a little um, since I dyed my hair lighter and I've been liking it. So I have my cool shade of brow product on and now I'm lightly just gonna go in with a warming, a warmer brow product. I'm gonna go in with this MAC brow pencil. This is in Strawberry Blonde. So it's lighter, but it adds just a little warmth to my brows now that my hair is warmer. Lovely. Next trick, little trick I have, I take my beauty blender, just brush over the, I don't wanna do the highlighter side of it that I put on my highlighter with. That would be an interesting look. And then just lightly with the beauty blender, kinda of do that at the beginning so it doesn't, again, look harsh. Oh, hit my shin. My boyfriend makes fun of me that like, I'm the clumsiest person ever and I'm always hurting myself. And unfortunately, he is not wrong. I am constantly in some sort of pickle where I'm hurt. It's ridiculous. S swirling my favorite fluffy blender around a little bit. I'm going to grab my makeup case, the bronzer that I put on and just use this as my transition. Just fluff this into the crease. And I hold my eyeshadow brushes at the end, and I do this with a lot of my brushes because then it has more wiggle room and helps you to blend out the product. I don't think I wanna go in with edges, which is one of my favorite colors in this palette. I think I wanna do ginger because I want sponsored to really be the focal point of color, whereas edges is burnt orange. So this is gonna be my crease color. Just work it in. color ginger blending <laughs> blended out to my liking it did go a little orangier than I remembered it going from the last time I used this palette but oh well so next we're lightly with a small blender brush gonna go into credit and just ever so slightly put it right here <laughs> Okay, now we're going to go in with sponsored this metallic green color just on the finger and stamp it on the lid. Now that brush that we used to blend ginger we're going in with again. Now 
now I do want to brighten up the inner corner a bit. I think what I'm going to do is bring in some of that highlight shade that I put on my um, cheekbones. Uh, I'm going to go on a flat, small brush. Uh, I'm going to wipe away my under eye bake first. I feel like I'm constantly doing this because I'm trying to look at my mirror that's right there. Now we're going to curl the lashes and then go in with this new mascara. Let's open her up and like give a little looky poo to the wand. Oh, it's super thin. It's literally the same size as whatever this would be. What is that? Okay, well, let's curl the lashes and then we'll go in with her. Oh, big stretch. Big stretch. Yeah. Uh, I like, I'm still getting used to this. I the wand has me very skeptical. Okay, so I feel like they're lengthened, not thickened, and I do like a thickening effect. Um, so maybe I'll layer over my Thrive Cosmetics mascara. Let's do the other side, and then we'll decide. Other side, and then we'll decide. That sounds dumb. Okay. Definitely wouldn't say it's my favorite mascara. I am going to go in and layer on top the Thrive Cosmetics. Let's put on a little lip action. I don't know what lip we're going to go with today yet, but let's try Chocolate Lust by Maybelline. I'm just using so much Maybelline today. Or maybe I like it. A little glossy moment as opposed to like a matte lip. a little spray of urban decay i feel like there's been multiple times in this video where i keep like randomly rhyming and i just sound like an idiot okay Plurf the hair okay guys so here is the finished makeup look i actually put a little bit of stripped down mac lip liner on and i just wanted to come downstairs so you guys could see the eyeshadow a little better so you could see that green reflect i hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial make sure to like and subscribe down below and make sure to look forward to my next video which will be next thursday at 4 p.m all right bye